Hi, everybody. This is Jim Sinesco with AFC International, and today I want to talk to you about a kind of an interesting little product for respiratory protection. Um, with all the craziness going on in the world, with the flus and all that, we're kind of been focusing in on those respirators and uh, for our protection for our, uh, from the, I guess, the flu. But I will also tell you, you know, terrorism, fire, smoke, chemicals are all around us, right? We've got industrial sites, businesses mixing up with residential homes and things. So you never know when you're going to be in a bad situation. We've had refineries on fire lately and chemical plants releasing things into the neighborhood. So we want to be really careful and be, make sure we're prepared. And one of the products I want to talk to you about today is the SR77-3 from Sunstrom. Now the SR77-3 is, is a, uh, a mask designed with an ABEK1 dash CO dash P3 series of cartridges. It's a whole bunch of different cartridges designed to uh, make sure you're safe through a smoke, fire, and chemical type uh, releases in an industrial site. So many, many different things. Could be also chemical weapons as well. If you remember from many of our other talks, chemical weapons are derived from a lot from ammonia and chlorine. Uh, and cyanide based things. So this mask is do, do real well for that. I'm going to get into the, the, the details in a little bit, but you may be familiar with the old Draeger, Draeger Parat C. Now the Dra Draeger Parat C was really designed for this particular one for fire and smoke. So you, it, would, it would be able to take up carbon monoxide and then uh, protect you. It actually converted it to, to CO2, harmless CO2, um, and therefore you were able to sit through fires. Uh, but Draeger, you know, we're saying no more to Draeger, right? So, Parazzi, see you later. The new sheriff in town, SR, like I said, SR77-3. And I think when you look at this, you'll start to wonder why, you'll understand why Draeger changed the Parazzi to some other different models because they needed to try to compete with this guy. And I'll tell you what, this is the real deal. This has that canister that can protect you from up to 0.25 to 1% by volume carbon monoxide. Now let's put that in perspective. 10,000 parts per million. That's 1%. That's a lot of carbon monoxide. Very, very lethal levels. This will take care of you. And they're saying that that rating is up to 30 minutes at those high concentrations. So sitting through a fire potentially, or making your way out of an egress out of a hotel, uh, more of an industrial site. If you're a crane operator, for goodness sakes, up in the mill and all of a sudden you get a fire on the floor, you're kind of trapped up there, right? So you could actually deploy this mask, sit through, or make egress through lethal concentrations. And I just use carbon monoxide as an example, but hydrogen cyanide, another, the toxic twins. We talk about smoke inhalation and dangers and toxic smoke. We're talking about hydrogen cyanide, things that are plastic, uh, polyurethanes, the foam, the, uh, the, the seat cushions, things in the modern home produce hydrogen cyanide. So we can actually sit through 400 to up to 1,000 parts per million of those deadly chemicals. And don't forget, 50 parts per million is the OSHA ideal H of those gases. We can go 25 to 40 minutes in those types of concentrations. So those are going to be, those gases are going to be in a fire. What about a chemical plant? You have a chemical plant, let's say an ammonia plant nearby and it releases out. We can do up to a thousand parts per million, three times the IDLH, immediately dangerous to life and health concentrations, for greater than 130 minutes. Chlorine, same thing, thousand parts per million over 130 minutes. Now let's, again, chlorine, 0.5 to 1 ppm is the OSHA permissible exposure limit. So we're a thousand times protection. So this mass, not only for smoke, uh, and, and, and fire is also for chemicals, so it's a very good mask. So if I'm going to be traveling anywhere near or have a building or an office near an industrial setting, or if I'm traveling, or if I'm a crane operator in the mill, or I, I'm near a fire, um, or even trying to protect against chemical weapons, for goodness sakes, from terrorism, the SR77-3 is going to do a great job. Um, it has a flame-resistant and chemical-resistant hood. It was originally designed for the pulp, paper, oil, and gas business and then also the residential home and, and, and uh, uh, downtown buildings if you're working way up in a high rise. Boy, you're on the 90th floor, you got a fire. I think we've all learned that you don't want to be on the 90th floor. You want to be getting out of there, you could actually put this on and, and make egress 
uh, down the stairwell if he had to. So, uh, so it was designed for that. The key thing about Sundstrom, and we've talked about this on our other videos, dual exhalation valves. So not only is it, we're breathing through these car canisters, it, 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 it's a big, big canister, makes it easy to breathe through, our exhalation is going to be much easier through a twin setup. We've done uh, videos on that before. So Sunshine has really done a great job. And so it's a one-time use only. It does have a 10-year shelf life. Um, so you can let these sit. You may never have to use them. Let's God, hopefully, God forbid, we have to deploy them. But if you don't, 10 years, you buy a new one. And you're talking a price tag of about, I don't know, two, 225 If you divide that out for 10 years, it's like $20, $25 a year. That's more than worth it. I know I've got loved ones that I would like to protect. That's not a cost. I don't think that's going to be a big deal for most people, but you do have that. It has an anti-fog uh, treatment on the lens. It has a large lens you can see through. The way it's designed, there's no adjustments. You're going to put it on, and it's going to conform. It's got a real nice elastic thing, so if you've got a beard or glasses, um, shouldn't be any problem. Small children, women. All different head sizes will fit nicely. It does have like a neoprene chemical, like silicon neck harness. Many others do not have this. This is going to be for good for chemicals, so you're not going to be getting burned in the neck. The silicone is fire retardant as well. So it's very, very cool. So um, I hope this gives you some ideas. If you're traveling or if you're in those high rises, like I said, or you're in a chemical plant, ammonia, chlorine, it doesn't really matter. You should probably have one of these SR-77s on board. If you want more information, give us a call, 800-952-3293. Look us up on the internet, www.afcintl.com. And certainly uh, like us on Facebook, YouTube, we're, you name it, we're there. So uh, for Jim Sinesco for AFC, thank you so much. Give us a call. Let us know if we can help you.